Okay, um, hii ni special na uspecial wake unakuja kwa sababu hii so interview haya ni mazungumzo na ni mazungumzo ambayo nilikuwa na hamu sana ya kuyajua muda mrefu kwa sababu ni mazungumzo ambayo nilitamani yafike hapa ambapo yanafika sasa hivi yani uweze kusikia hiki ambacho nakwenda kusikia leo lakini ilikuwa inashindikana kwa sababu mbalimbali mbali. lakini naamini pia kwenye muda na ni story ambayo tunakwenda kushare story ya binti ambaye ni tulimfahamu kupitia BSS lakini huyu ni moja tu kati ya watu ambao story yake utakavyoisikia itakupa picha nyingine ambayo ni picha iliyojificha ndani ya jamii yetu. Nisongee sana. Niko na Angel Mary. Mambo njoo. Poa. Been a while that you came for the interview. Ndio, nashukuru sana kwa for this opportunity. Yeah. Kabla tujiingie kwenye hii issue ambayo una imekuleta hapa. Tell me wakati tunaanza mazungumzo hapo niambia kusikia na recycles. Kwamba nyinyi ni watu ambao mnaokota makopo uh, like hiyo tabia mjaacha hapana <laughs> um kwa recyclist ni unaona kitu cha thamani kutoka kwa watu ambao wanaona takataka lakini sisi tu ni takataka si tunaona potential something that tunaweza kutumia nyumbani au rekebisha kidogo inakuwa kitu cha thamani sana ndani kwa hivyo nikitoka nje tabia yangu tu ni kuangalia vitu ambavyo watu wakiona wanaona nitakataka lakini i can change it into something kwa mfano kuna sehemu niliona ile guardia kupondea wanapondea um, mahindi si eh, 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 mtuangio tunaita eh, mtuangio lakini ile kubwa kabisa eh. imetupa tu imeoza imetupa nikaibadilisha nikaweka maua sasa hivi ipo kwenye sitting room yangu <laughs> kwa hiyo Bila kwanza nipate picha ya sitting room yako. Hebu siye kuja kwako. Inabidi uje. Sitting room yako ni ni sehemu ya watu ambao umeokota vitu umeleta sitting room. Ah, sio vitu vyote lakini vitu ambavyo unaviona kwamba vitapendeza sana no. kwenye sitting room yako. Unapenda pia nani miti? Ya, yeah, napenda nature. sana miti. Siwezi kukaa sehemu bila miti. Ni nini ulijikuta tu kwamba unapenda nature? Yeah, tangu niwe mdogo nature ilikuwa kitu ambacho nilikuwa napenda sana. Hata tukihama tulikuwa tunahama sana nyumba tofauti like kama nyumba 20 na baada ya miezi 3 4 tunahama tunahama kwa hivyo tuna tabia kuhama mno so katika kuhama nilikuwa namwambia mama yangu azingatie nyumba ambayo ina miti yanazingatie okay. sana kwa sababu nitakuwa comfortable zaidi nikiwa okay. around the meat here yeah. sawa enjo turudi kwenye issue ambayo ndio lengo la kwa nini tuko hapa enjo nikienda straight kwenye hiki ambacho tunajizungumza ni kwamba umewahi kujaribu kujua na ni kitu ambacho ni kipya mtu atakuwa anasikia kutoka kwako lakini sio kipya kusikia kutoka kwa watu ambao wanazunguka. Na ni nini ambacho una kwa nini sasa hivi ni perfect time ya kuongea? Um kwanza maisha yangu yote nikiangalia tangu nime mdogo nilikuwa napambana sana na mental health akili ya afya. Kwa hivyo hata kujua ni, ni nikipiga mahesabu mara nne hivi nashiriki kujipa jaribu kujua four times in my life na nilianza kuwaza suicide au kujua nikiwa darasa la 5 6 hapo tunaanza kuwaza so ni kitu ambacho nilikuwa napambana nayo sana na sasa hivi ninavyoangalia jinsi ambavyo tunavyoenda naona issue ya mental health inakuwa imeanza kuwa shit yani imeanza kuwa changamoto sana katika vijana kwa sababu just the other day we have lost uh, a friend juzi tu tumesikia kuna msanii South Africa kajiua riki riki ya yeah. exactly um, miss america alijua pia january yani vitukio tofauti na hata hapa Tanzania kuna vitukio tofauti sio kujua tu lakini kamua mamake kamua mtoto vitu kama hivyo ambao pia vinahusika na um, akili ya afya so i felt like as much as ilikuwa kitu kigumu sana kukubali interview kwa sababu sipendi kuzungumza vitu vya kwangu especially kwa kitu kama hichi lakini niliona ni muhimu sana kuvunja ukimya na kuanza conversations about mental health ili kuwasaidia watu wengine kwa sababu niliona wengi tunaumia kwa sababu ya ukimya yani atuzungumzie unadhani kwamba unachopitia ni wewe mwenyewe tu duniani 
So if we had this conversation, kama mimi ninge, ningepata kutazama interviews kama hizi before, at least ningejua kwamba mm, kumbe sio mimi tu. Kumbe kuna uwezo wa kuwa okay. Kumbe you know, we are all going through this. So yeah, that's why I felt like it's good to have this. Niki nihuliza ile swali ningetamani niwe refu zaidi lakini nataka nikuuliza kama nilivyo. Kwa nini ulikuwa unataka kujiua mara nne? Um kila kila um, kwanza mara ya kwanza yeah but yeah kwa sababu kila attempt kuna ina, tofauti ina, ina, yeah um tangu ni mdogo tulikuwa tunaishi vizuri na mamangu um mamangu ni single mother alikuwa single mother by then we were okay baba hakuwepo so we were just struggling lakini mama alikuwa anafanya kazi nzuri sana we were having good life um baadaye kuna kipindi na kumka mama katuita kwamba nataka kuwahusisha kwa sababu i want to bring up another family members baba okay. wa kambo okay. so kwa mimi especially mimi kwa sababu mimi ni msichana pekee katika familia wa uh, watoto wanne i have three brothers i'm the only girl so nilikuwa na daddy issues very bad na nilikuwa natamani sana kuwa na baba kwa sababu kwa naisi nikiwa na baba nitapata upendo zaidi i'll be cared for zaidi so oh, sorry um uli umekuwa na bila baba kwa umri gani na kipindi mama anakuambia kwamba anataka nimlete baba yenu ulikuwa na umri gani hapo tulikuwa kama i was so young ah. kama miaka 5 6 hapo yeah okay. so na hiyo ndio kipindi ambacho ukienda shuleni watasema babangu nini basi una baba una unajua tena in a so i really wanted the father yeah. uh, alipokuja yani ilikuwa kama what did you say to mom akaja anasema namleta baba yenu wa kama nilisema yani i'll be so happy kwa oh, mimi yeah. nilikuwa like mama i'll be so happy like i would really love it to have a dad somehow and pia kuna... umuona akiwa na furaha kwa sababu obviously you can see hata ah, kama yeah. tuko wadogo unaweza kaona mama ana some loneliness yeah. ambao yeah. yeah okay so ukamwambia mama yeah nikamwambia mama akaletwa sasa <laughs> mwanzoni si tulidhani kwamba yani naweza kusema yu, Uh, babangu wa kambo alikuwa unaita a, sh- a wolf in sheep clothing mm-hmm. yani alivyokuja tu kwenye family yetu alituvuhuga wote my mom me my brothers katika vitu tofauti yani maisha yalibadilika vibaya sana um, kulikuwa na violence in the house vita nusikia wanapigana usiku i remember my child yani asilimia yangu ya uto, u, uh, in my childhood Asilimia tuseme 80 nilikuwa nalia na hofu na you know I was not okay. Asilimia 20 tulikuwa na furaha. Kwa hivyo tulikuwa tunajificha sometimes chini ya kitanda just to be safe kwa sababu ya vugo ambao unasikia vitu vinavunjwa nini nini. Not once, not twice, oh, some many nights. So vitu kama hivyo alikuwa very nice. Kwa hivyo alikuwa lakini wanafanyana nyie. Na wewe wewe na najaribu kuelewa hii situation kwamba ni, ni mtoto ambaye ulishazoea kuishi na mama pekee kwa hiyo mood mama ndo mkuu natarajia mama ndo ilikuwa mood yenu ya mm. lakini sasa hivi amekuja mtu mwingine ambaye uh, mood inaweza inategemea wao na wao wanaelewa naye exactly na huyu mtu alikuwa very narcissistic narcissistic ni jina ambao nimejifunza juzi juzi but ni mtu ambaye semeji yani yupo ana ego yana anataka kila kitu mimi na after na hajali hajali watu yeye anataka vitu kutoka kwa watu na hajali jinsi ambavyo atawaumiza au nini so alikuwa ina hiyo na very Alkom manipulative levi. um sio mlevi kivile lakini alikuwa anakunywa sio okay. kwamba ita nakuja eh, um, na lakini alikuwa anakunywa na mamangu alikuwa na tabia kunywa pia lakini baada hapo alikuwa kama influence pia kwake um we used to go to church lakini kadri ambavyo tunaenda kuishi na yeye tukaacha kwenda kanisani i used to love church because nilikuwa napenda sana kuimba kanisani kucheza kanisani na wenzangu so maisha yangu ilibadilika sana na hata family yangu ilibadilika sana so one thing kabla niendelee ili msi i might say some things ambao mnaweza ka misunderstand one thing i've learned ni kwamba hurt people hurt people okay watu ambao wanaumizwa wanaumiza wengine wengi. exactly kwa hivyo hiyo ni kitu ambacho nilikuwa na struggle sana miaka nyingi sasa hivi kwa ukubwa ndo nimeelewa and that's why naweza kuzungumza uh, about hii story kwenye mtazamo tofauti okay. not blaming my mother but understanding kwamba naye pia alikuwa victim okay. 
akiwa kama mwanamke ambaye anajaribu kuhudumu familia yake after na mtu huyo hapo ndo anakuja with manipulation and violence and abuse sio kwa mama yetu tu lakini hata kwa mimi he, he was very abusive mm-hmm. not fighting but other types of abuse so um ili m- tuseme kama miaka 5 nne mbele tukaanza kuona effect taratibu lakini sasa unatafuta miaka 10 sasa msichana mm. wa miaka 10 kwa kipindi hapo kwa miaka 5 kwa hiyo tuseme miaka yeah in my teenage teenage tunaanza kuona effect sio kwa nguvu mimi tu lakini kwa kila mtu kwa mamangu mamangu akaanza kuwa a little bit more violent um stress kila wakati my brother sijui kivile lakini pia nilikuwa na kuna hasira fulani because kipindi kile tukiwa wadogo ukiona mama yako ana ananyanyaswa ana you know anaumizwa kwa sababu tupo wadogo hauna nguvu ya kumtetea mama yako kuja na ku stop tunajificha tu chini ya kitanda so i can imagine kwa mwanaume akiwa mkubwa atakuwa na hiyo hasira na ile defense ah, okay. kwa hivyo kwenye defense mode mm. so wengi tulianza kuwa kwenye defense mode tukiwa tangu wadogo so going back the first attempt ndo kuna kipindi waligombana na mama this time like wanagombana then wanarudiana wanagombana so inabidi tu tuende na upepo yani wakigombana tusiongee naye akirudi inabidi tumuite baba tukiuliza baba alikuwa wapi ah no baba wa, baba yako alisi ah babangu babangu at that time hako na sisi alikuwa ah, same okay. kwa ni mtu ambaye ulikuwa uweze kumreach mm. okay So um attempt ya kwanza. Yeah, so attempt ya kwanza ni walikuwa na gombana and hiyo siku baada ya kugombana sijui nilifanya nini. Nilikuwa kama nilikuwa class 6. Um nikafunga mlango kwa nguvu like banging the door. Kwa sababu na mimi pia nilikuwa na hasira fulani I think. So na mama kusikia tu ya ku bang the door, kanita, kanipiga, kani Yaani tunaweza kunile kipigo ya kawaida yeah, kwa mtoto amebamiza mlango. Baadhi yeah. wao nampiga mtoto kwa kubamiza mlango, okay? Hiyo kipigo tunaelewa lakini hiyo kipigo the first time nilipigwa kiaina ambao unajua kwamba hapa it's not okay. Na kanyagwa mguu, I mean kichwa, you know, and kanyaga na mguu wake, I'm down and then my head is you know. So Your mom. Yeah, my own mom. Na hapo nikaanza na hiyo siku ndo nilianza kuwa na hofu kama ni mamangu kweli au labda atakuwa mamangu wa kambo alinichukua ni ataki kunyambia sababu nilianza kuwa na hiyo my mom doesn't love me my mothers don't do that this is not normal but you know unajua anayetazama hapa atakuwa anashangaa eh? yeah um so akani akani akanyambia ni baada kupigwa nilikuwa na bruises on my body akanyambia nikae nje niende nje na hapo ndo nikaanza kuwaza about my you know killing myself hiyo ni baada ya so it has been serious yeah. yeah so just once it yeah. has been all back and forth and then the first time so the first time ni um uh form 1 nilikuwa napenda sana shule kwa sababu nilikuwa na escape hayo matatizo ya nyumbani so nilikuwa napenda sana boarding school so the first time nilienda po boarding school kurudi kumbe walikuwa wamehama nyumbani so i didn't know nikirudi nyumbani it was so far from home kurudi sijui wamehama wamehamia wapi i was scared si mjebu kumtafuta mama simpati i was like yani imagine so merudi hawezi kupata mtu you're lost na ujui so the only number one kwa nayo ni wewe baba akambo kwa tupate picha kwa mtu ambaye anaitazama hii ni kwamba kuna mtoto yupo shuleni anasoma na wazazi then anakaa boarding tokana na jinsi ambavyo familia ipo mawasiliano sio sana kwa hiyo maana yake kulikuwa kama uh, awasiliani sana na wazazi ukiwa shuleni then yeah, unarudi unakuta alipokuwa yeah. kwenu sio kwenu tena sio kwetu tena na ujui kwenu ni wapi na ujui kwenu ni wapi na uliambia utaenda wapi exactly then kama ume unajua kwamba kuna hama lakini sijui wapi okay. so namba ya mama tu ndo nilikuwa nayo na baba so nikajibu mama hapatikani nika kama muda mrefu kumtafuta si hapatikani nikaamua sasa mtu mwingine ambao ni naye namba tu ambaye anaweza kaniambia haraka before walikuwa me nilewaacha wakiwa okay so i guess wako okay i can call him kumpigia simu akaja kanichukua nikakaa naye akanikalisha sehemu anasema anafanya kazi muda mrefu kama some hours ndio nikarudisha nyumbani kufika nyumbani kakaangu ananiambia usiingie nyumbani au badilisha haraka nenda nje kamuliza what for kanambia kwa sababu actually mama walikuwa wamegombana vibaya sana na baba wa Kambo na wakati alikuwa amekubeba alikuwa na threaten mama kwamba nina mtoto wako na talk to me kwa sababu hakuwa naongea na yeye okay 
Kwa hiyo ile sehemu ambayo mzee alikuchukua akakuweka kwa muda mrefu huenda ndio alikuwa anawasiliana na mama kwamba nina mtoto wako. Wako exactly. Alikuwa na mtoto hivyo. Kwa nini walikuwa na shirika kuachana? I'm, I'm telling you it was very toxic. He was so toxic. So I didn't know so I was like so how but anyway na mfamo mangu anasema so nikaenda nje kwenda nje haraka uh, mama kurudi kazini unaweza you know, kachungulia kwa sababu mko na mama wangu sana nachungulia naona anaingia kutoka kazini around 4 o'clock na panda juu kaka wangu akashuka kusafisha gari nikamuuliza vipi can i go she ametulia sasa hivi anasema mm, yani usiingie kabisa yani tulia hapo hapo kwa sababu it's going to be bad na yeye anajua anajua you know mm-hmm. so nikaendelea kusubiri kusubiri hadi sijui saa 5 hivi nachungulia tu sababu tuko tunaishi kwenye apartments kwa hivyo najua chumba cha mama iko wapi na shanga taina ta zima kwenye vyumba vingine na mama anazima ta so it's like mm. Kwa sababu all this time kwa nategemea kwamba atanita. Remember this is my first time naenda boarding school I'm coming back. Mjoko kuna ile homesick yeah, kidogo hata yeah, kama nyumbani sio. Yeah. So this is what you come to. <laughs> I was like I'm tired. Yeah. Yaani nimechoka. I can't do this anymore. Nikapanda juu tulikuwa kama gofa tano. Nikapanda juu kabisa nikataka kujirusha. So just yani ndo napanda hivi kujirusha hivi. I don't know kwa sababu sikuwa na ma, mazoea na you know uh, neighbors sikuwa najua jirani yani tulikuwa tunajua na tumefika by the way tumefika na yeah. sijui so kupanda tu hivi yani nataka kujirusha 